over caffeinated and ready to roll again. My name is Splattercat and I'm ready to have you here. I had to drink in between. I had to get like some coffee or maybe like some soda or something inside of me. I've had trouble waking up today. I don't know. Do you guys have that? Every now and again, it's just like my eyes will not stay open and I just woke up a little bit ago. It's just like, oh my god, I know that I got a square 10 in. I feel like I got a good night's sleep. But for whatever reason, my body is greedy and it just tries to take more and more and more. Welcome back to Better Late Than Dead though. I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. In the previous episode, we had swam across the bay, and I was expecting, like, something bad to happen to us, but nothing bad happened, and so I guess I'm just being paranoid. There's a note over here on this wall, so let's go check that out. What does this say? Crafting note? I can't swim too much because sharks are in the bay, but on land, you must also be cautious as there's always someone watching. We are part of something. I just don't know what? See, there's so many body bags and things around that I assume at some point you must have realized that something was going wrong. Like, before I take a job, if they're like, we have scientific opportunities available for you, how do you feel about that? I'm like, well, are you going to kill me? That's always the first question I ask. As interviewer, are you going to try and kill me later on once you try to hide your government secrets? And they're like, no, that's not. Ooh. Yes, please. I'm going to grab myself a rag right there. That sounds pretty good. We made a torch in the previous episode. I will point out that we made a torch out of our last medical supplies, so... Hopefully that doesn't backfire on us. Ooh, he just barely made that one. Like he might have some kind of ankle injury or something. Ah, I'm bad at jumping! Alright, so let's... There's nothing inside it. It looks like, kind of like a crab trap almost, but not quite. It's almost... What is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit! We got the knife. Okay, so we got a... Yeah! We can actually... Oh... It's got durability. Okay. All right. So let me put that. I'm going to put that in my one slot right now. You ever get a random itch that just, like, won't go away? Like, it's just, like, in there. It's like you know your body's malfunctioning. It's not like a real itch because normally an itch is, like, a response to a stimuli. But you get some weird itch that just, like, won't go away and it's not a bite or it's not anything else. That's pretty cool. It's odd that it doesn't go into the sheath on the back of his belt, though. I wish that that worked a little bit better. That was one of the things that I was looking forward to because that is a hell of a belt sheath right there. Like, that's the stuff. He's got, like, his Sons of Anarchy Jacks thing going on, carrying a big-ass buck knife while he walks around in his shorty shorts. I dare you to say something about my shorty shorts. I dare you, tree. I dare you to say something about my shorty shorts. Arrgh. The tree's like, ooh. It looks like his fingers are going in the tree right there. I don't know. It looks like we're getting a little bit invasive. We're enjoying the tree's company a little bit too much, or it's enjoying our company a little bit too much. I don't know which is worse. Is it, <laughs> is it consensual? Are we both enjoying this? Or like, I don't really know where to register this on my overall stimuli meter. Am I supposed to be enjoying this? Because it looks like you're enjoying this. The tree's like, hmm, this is my favorite part of the day. It feels so lovely. Like, all right, ooh, there's a bird up there. Let's go stab it. Hey, you. I already tried to bite the eyeballs out of a deer. Don't think I won't try and do it to you too, random avian fowl. Your day is coming. You better fly away. You're done. They said there were sharks in the bay. This isn't really much of a bay, though. I mean, I guess it... Wait, what is that right there? Is that a shark? There's something in the water right there. I see it. I can see it in the water. I'm having a Galadriel moment. Oh, never mind. It's just water weed. Never mind. It's just kelp. Let's have a look at some of these settlements around. And maybe since we got ourselves a knife right now, we actually have, like, most of the stuff we need in order to get started with the game. I don't know a lot of the crafting recipes. I looked at some of them. We can make a bandage out of cloth and a knife, I think. So if you take the cloth and then the cut with the knife, I think you want to imagine it sort of as a sentence. What does this say? Hey, guys, you can store your supplies here, bags, clothes, maybe even some food. Who knows? But please keep the place clean. I don't want to come here and beat you all to death. Just kidding. That escalated really really quickly like normally they keep that tongue in cheek and they're like all right guys so for the good of the company we are gonna have reprimands i might have to write you up that dude jumps straight to the most extreme thing ever he's like listen do your job use the storage area keep it cleaner i'm gonna beat you to death i'm like damn jeff you need to get back on prozac and calm down like seriously ever since you stopped taking your pills you've just been unpleasant to be around what is that no it doesn't do anything i do have a key though i have a key right here Maybe useful for some. That's that sh I don't think that should be. Shouldn't that be two words? It should be maybe useful for. S not maybe useful. I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just a space missing right there. I think. So if I wanted to use a key on this door, it looks like it's locked. So we put it in the three slot, and then we activate that. Oh, it turned green. We got this. Ah, my puzzle solving skills. If you have a keyhole, indeed, there must be a key. It doesn't look like it turned. Yeah, I was going to say, he stuck it in, but it looked like he tried to turn it. If you looked at the animation, it looked like he tried to turn it, it didn't work, and it broke our key. Well, damn. 
That was a sl <laughs> that was a great use of our supplies. I think that's a supply crate over there. I think. Okay, let me jump up in and over here and see what we can find. Oh, a water pump! Dude, I was worried that we were so far from our water supply right now, so that's really, really good. That makes me happy. I'm glad that that's there because I'm going to drink all of my water. Glug, glug, glug. Get my drink on. Mmm, Waterholics Anonymous. I will never join you because I can never quit. So do I ever get to shave my face? I thought in the screenshots of this game he looked pretty well shaven at some points. Oh, we got another key. Well, that's cool. I mean, I'm not going to use it on that door right there because we broke the last one. He said that there was a hole in the roof in that note. Is there? Is that how we get it? Maybe Maybe it only opens from the inside. But I'm not seeing any real ways to get up onto the roof. Like, I guess if you were really sly, you might be able to, like... Whoa. Oh, apparently you can, like, jump to the... Oh, there's, like, a dodge mode. Okay, so this game gets more and more, like, gothic every single time that... Oh, we can almost get up on the roof. But it looks like you're not quite able to. The roof doesn't look like it has a hole, though, either. It just looks like it's kind of patchy. So, I don't know how we get inside of here, or how we make this work. I guess I can't stab the door, but like, give me all your money. No, that's not gonna work, we can't mug the door. Oh, there's a camera right there. Oh, hey. How's it going? You want a little show with Splattercat? I bet you do a little bit of show and tell. Well, you're gonna have to show me first, because this whole adventure has been nothing but a hassle so far. I need to refill my water bottle. Let's go get ourselves some agua. Why is there a seashell next to the water? Maybe somebody was washing it in the fresh water? I don't know. You need the lucky seashell in order to get the good water out of the pump. It's 50-50 if you don't have the lucky seashell. Come forth with the lucky seashell and mayhaps you shall have yourself clean water, but probably not enjoy your dysentery. Like, no, not dysentery. I try not to dysentery. Or at least I try not to be dysentery whenever possible. Terry has a temper. And I really, Terry's a lot bigger than me. He's like six foot eight, like 220 pounds. I'm pretty sure Terry could wreck my day. So I'm going to try not to diss him from now on. What does this have inside of it? Another key. I wonder if they take multiple keys. Like part of me wants to puzzle it out by save scumming and just like figure it out. Like just save scum it. Like save before I use all the keys and then if it doesn't work, reload my game. And then we will have verified whether or not keys work on those doors. But it looks like it gets a green targeting thing and it said used item, but the door didn't open. I don't know what to do. I don't know what do to. There is something watching. I could feel it. I know there's something here. What can I do? I don't even know how long I've been stuck here for. Please, if you read this, come and find me. I plan to reach the highest point of the island and wait till midday in the hope that somebody finds this note. Stay safe and stay smart. Okay, well, I can really guarantee neither of those because those are not qualities that I have in spades. However, got another building right here. God, man. These people live by some rough means out here. I've seen, like, camping tents that are cleaner than this area. I keep my tent super clean when I go camping. I don't know. I keep everything organized. I got, like, the duffel bag in the corner. Then I got the sleeping bag, like, on this side. Then I got, like, the random, like, survival kit thing over... Oh, there's a oil bottle right there if you wanted it. Huh. Apparently there's stuff just, like, laying around on the ground, too. Maybe I should just walk around permanently in perception mode. That's probably the best plan. How do I get up inside this building? Oh, is that blood on the wall? Tell me that's not blood on the wall. I hope it's oil. And if somebody got murdered, I hope it was a robot and that it's oil blood on the wall. That always reminds me, like, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but... Oh, I don't want to talk about this because it's gross. But anyways, in Borderlands 2, when you first start out, if you go in Claptrap's house off to the left, you'll see that next to his bed, there's a bunch of, like, robot porn on the wall. And then there's grease stains all over his bed. I noticed that, like, the second time or third time I played through the game, and I was just like, oh, that's gnarly. <laughs> that's just brutal. <laughs> I think I should probably... It's one of those little things that, like, you know somebody sat around. That was somebody's job one day. They were just like, what I need you to do today, Jeff. Oh, good. The torch sort of helps. Helps out a little bit. I can kind of see. Can I beat things with a torch? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. Dude, I'd be up in here lighting everything on fire. This place is terrifying. Maybe I... Should I waste another key? Because it looks like... Oh, that door opened on its own. Watch. There's going to be a wolf inside. I'm going to find the note inside the house. It's like, watch out, I locked a wolf in the house. I'm like, well, you couldn't put the note on the outside of the house? Come on, man. Oh, look, more rags, just in case. If you can read this, I may be dead. If not, look behind you. <laughs> just joking, but seriously, I hope I'm not dead. I spotted someone looking at me at night, but I don't know who it is. If it was you, let me know. Right here, I'll come back and maybe we can talk. I don't have a pen, man. I mean, I could just, like, drool. I guess I could use... I was going to say, I could drool all over it. I could use invisible ink. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. It's P. Oh, you can open that? Oh. 
Well, that's a thing. Okay, there's another lighter right there. I don't really need it. Some more oil right there. I guess I'll take that just in case. Our torch doesn't look like it's actually burning down. It's still like at 100%. Look, more oil. This place is like the best stocked... Does everything here run on kerosene? Like, why do you need so much oil? Like, seriously, this entire place is the most oil stocked. They have more oil than most camping stores that I've been to. Loads and loads of oil around here. Is this a sick... What is a crow doing out at night? Oh, that's not a crow. It's a giant eagle thing. Hopefully it's a friendly eagle. A freedom friend eagle. What is that? Another water bottle? My inventory is full. Another water bottle would be nice. I would be down. Let's go ahead and drop the stick. I don't think we're going to use it right now. Since we've got a knife, I don't really want the pipe either. But I'm really, really afraid to get rid of some of the stuff that I have, so... I also kind of want to... I might try those keys out in that door and just, like, make a little cut right there. Like, fiddle with it for a second and see if it breaks all my keys or if you have to put in, like, a certain amount, like those old school... Remember, like, in Gauntlet and stuff like that, like, some doors would take, like, multiple keys when you had to go through? I don't know. What can I do with some of this? Can I do anything with, like, I've got leaves. Can I strip the leaves? Add cut and then, like, with a knife? Or does that not work? Do I have to take that out of my inventory first? Okay, so let me... Hold on. If I unequip that, I guess it's unavailable for usage while you have it in your hotbar, I guess. Let's go for it. So I think this will work. And I just want to figure out the order. So do you put the knife first and then the cut after? Or do you put the cut first? I think you got to treat it like a sentence. So it's like, take the cloth and then cut it with a knife. And you've just got to visualize it in your head as like a sentence that you're explaining to somebody. That failed, though, too. I wonder. Or do you just have to put in cut? Do you not even need the knife would be the second part. It just assumes that you have it. Hmm. Let's try that, then. Add. And then cut. Oh, well, that one worked. Okay, so you don't need the knife in there at all. The knife appears to be just sort of like ancillary to the whole process. You just kind of... Is that the right word? Either way, the knife is not required in the crafting recipe. And this means that coconuts are useful to... Can I do this right here? Can I take... Well, I'm full up on my inventory, but you know what I mean. Should I... We're kind of hungry. I'm going to eat my mango so I have an extra inventory space. Equip that in the one slot. Mm-hmm. The favorite of all slots. Everybody loves a one slot. There we go. So now that we're all filled up, I don't know that I need another water. What is that right there? Oh, it's the stick that I dropped. Okay. Is the water bottle? Oh, it's empty. Okay. So if I fill it up, though, I think that's a good plan. I might want to make a stockpile somewhere of stuff so that I can come back and get it. You remember, like, back in the Resident Evil days, how you could leave stuff for other characters when they came through? I might do that here and just, like, make a big pile of things for myself so that if I need to, I can come back and get it. But we can travel with only the bare essentials on us. I think that it might be a solid plan. Since we know how to make band-aids now, I might make a few more of those because I see no reason to carry around a ton of cloth. I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to add that. I'm going to cut up a few of these so that we have a bunch of band-aids. Do they not stack? Or do you just have to have... Ugh. Okay, so do you have to have... I'm going to drop that right there. This might be a little bit roundabout. My experience playing games with crafting tells me... Okay, so they stack. But what happens is I explain this in the Flame and the Flood. But with the way that it's coded, if you have a full inventory, it needs a place for the one bandage to be temporarily before it bounces it into the stack. And so what some games do is they actually have invisible storage off to the side that actually exists but doesn't exist within the UI so that you'll never see it. And it bounces it real quick so that even if you have a full inventory, it stacks properly. In this game, they do the same thing as in the Flame and the Flood where it hasn't been polished yet. And so they don't have that as a solution. And so if your inventory is full, it has no place to put the item temporarily before it stacks it. And so it gets upset. It's a coding thing. Anyways, I used to code. Can you tell? I used to code, but then I stopped. I need to get back into it. I really enjoyed coding. It's just that, I don't know. Can you do it backwards? Oh, you can't do it backwards. Okay, never mind. They're like, mm-hmm, Klaus not falling for that one again. He's like, just one time, do it backwards. Do it the way we haven't done it before. And it hurt, and I don't want to. You can't make me. It's non-consensual. So if my stuff is on the ground here, it looks like the water bottle fell over there. I might use this little shed as a storage area for all the random crap that I have, like the pipe. So let me drop that over there. Let me... I'm going to drop the painkillers, too, because I don't think I'm going to need them right now. And so I'll drop these up and in here. And we should have a pretty good stack of stuff over on this side. That should allow us to travel a little bit lighter. I'm going to drop all the cloth, too. I mean, there's really no reason to carry around so much stuff. And that'll be pretty good right there. 
back in the saddle again. I went ahead and I tested the key thing over there too while I was here. I saved scum that door and I used all the keys on it and it didn't work at all. So I'm assuming that's going to be closed until a later date. We've got to find like a more specific key in order to get in there. For right now, I'm a tiny bit concerned. If you press the P key, you can actually go into first person mode. So for people who prefer that, it is an option that's available. I don't know if I'm much of a first person player myself. I mean, it works out okay. They said there were sharks out in the water, but I'm a little bit terrified to go out there. The game is in early access, so there may not be sharks in the game yet. So I figure I'm going to hazard it. It's a little bit dark, but oh well. Let's go for it. I'm going to put that away, though. I don't want to put my torch out in the water. Let's swim for it. If we got bit by a shark, we get bit by a shark. It is what it is. Going to live life on the edge for just a second. I think the highest point on the island is where they said they were going to go. Did I miss anything on this little island, by the way? Maybe I should search the whole thing first. Let's search the whole island first. I want to make sure I don't have to come back out here. Just, he did say that he did leave us a note that said he was going to the highest point of the island. So maybe we should try and work our way up one of these hills right here. Everything gets like a weird black. You see that right there? I don't know if you guys can see that in the final recording. But at night, all of the objects, like the trees, they get like this weird black kind of like ink line around them. I don't know what that is, but I noticed that whenever I play. Kind of an odd thing. I assume it must be some byproduct of the engine that they're using, but hmm, what do I know about anything? Let's go up to the top of the hill. He did say he was going to the high point on the island. We are going to have to find ourselves some food pretty soon, though, too. We're going to have to run the risk of starving. Oh, it does look like there's a bunker or something up here. I don't know what that is. I'm on a radio station thing. It's so dark that it's hard to tell. The first person mode. Oh, never mind. It's water towers. Okay, so this is apparently where the water supply comes from. We need to be careful when we're walking around here. Nope, oh, I need that out. I need illumination as little as I can get. I would say they should probably make the torch a little bit brighter. Make it throw light a little bit further. I think the I think the coloration of the torch is okay. But the the actual halo around your character needs to be a little bit larger because it doesn't illuminate much for right now. But it should throw a little bit more light. It's a little bit dark and I'm feeling nervous about continuing when it's this dark. So those are all coniferous. Okay, so if we got like forest trees over here, those are the ones. I think this tree right here, though, we might be able to get something out of it. Let's try. Shake this tree real fast. Try not to, yeah, rub the torch on the tree while we're trying to shake it. That's a great idea. Let's create some forest fires and get a government agency all angry at us. Did it drop anything for me? Sometimes it takes a second for the things to drop out of the tree or they get stuck. Oh, no. It's a weird situation that I've come across before. I think that tree got nothing for us. He just doesn't love us like that. Since we have a knife, we could technically get inside of these coconuts off these trees if we wanted to. But I think the coconuts might only give you liquid, possibly. I don't know if you can eat the meat out of the coconut. You may or may not be able to. I tried to use a coconut that had already been opened. And what I found personally, this tree looks promising. Let's go for this one right here. He does give promises, but he never follows through with them. That's why he has problems keeping the trust with friends. Go ahead and push on this tree a little bit up to the elbow. That's right. You got to make them happy before they give you their bounty. Man, these trees are stingy up in here. These trees are being super stingy. God damn it, tree. Why would you do this to me? All right. Let's find other trees. I got to keep shaking stuff because we're kind of hungry right now. So we're in like this weird shake and bake mode where I got to make sure that we find food to eat before we do anything else. Maybe we can wander around a little bit and look for like random treasures. But we've got the knife and we got most of the stuff that we need in order to do a lot of the random like crafting recipes and whatnot. So I think we should be all right. Let me go ahead and get this done. Come on. Fall over. That one looks like it gave us leaves. And it should have given us... Oh, okay, so never... I'm going to take the leaves, though, I guess. I haven't played around with these yet, but I'm pretty sure you can cut them into ropes or something like that. Did I already try you? No, I didn't. Just got to keep shaking some trees for right now. And if we find something that allows us to survive, great, because that hunger meter is looking precariously low right now. We should have time. I'm not that worried about, like, fully stocking up on things, but... Oh, man. These trees got nothing for us. They're being super stingy. Okay, well, this tree over here, this one's got red leaves. Maybe this one will be awesome. I don't know. Have we ever shook a red tree before? First time for everything. Come here, you big old lovely ginger trunk. Come on. Give me stuff. All of your stuff inside of my inventory right now. I demand it. Oh, a thing fell. A thing fell over there. What is that? 
That looks different. I think that's an apple. Hey, we got an apple. Did any other ones fall? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree is what the saying has told me. But they seem to be pretty migratory given the incline of this plane, so, you know. I'm actually going to shake a couple more apple trees. Why not? We haven't eaten a lot of apples yet. I don't know. I'm getting tired of mango. you got to use variety in life. Otherwise, you're just going to get bored with everything all the time. Just got to get outside the box every now and again. Yeah, man. Give me your apples. I am a master tree tickler. Like, I am really good at this, so I feel like you should probably give me what I want. Orchards the world over have looked forward to, like, hiring me just to tickle their trees so that they grow better. Also, I put in a little bit of music. I come out with, like, a violin. I have a cellist who's actually on my payroll. We play you songs for your trees, make them happier. There's not a huge demand for our services yet, but someday, when people realize the benefit that music has on trees, they'll come around. They'll come around. I think they tested that on Mythbusters. And the, the plant that listened to death metal grew the most. Such a weird thing to test. But I guess that's what they're... Oh, there's... Woo! Come here, do not fall down the hill. That would make me sad. There we go. An apple a day will keep the hunger pangs away. I'm actually trying to front stock on food for a while so that we can just spend like the next episode completely and totally exploring. I like apples. Apples are one of my favorite fruits. Although I ain't down with none of that like random red apple shit. You gotta bring like... What types of apples are there? There's Granny Smith. There's Red Delicious. I don't like Red Delicious. I found its name to be completely until the skin's too thick. I don't know. The skin on red apples always tastes too thick to me. I like Golden Delicious. That's what's up right there. Is that a bear over there behind it? What is that behind that? I think it's just like a big brown rock behind another rock, but it looked kind of like a bear for a second. I don't know. It scared me like that. We sure are lucky that there seems to be like a full orchard of like apple trees out here. Otherwise, life would be difficult. What's up, apple? There we go. You actually have to eat a lot of apples. When I tried to cut weight back in the day, because I've talked about this before, but I lost like 100 pounds. I used to be really, really big, and I lost a lot of weight. Ooh, there's a cave over here. Oh, no. It looks like there's stuff in there. But there's also a poo bear in there. He does not look friendly. Hmm... Hey, buddy. Saw a picnic basket over there. You want it? I just want that backpack that's inside of there. Because I see it and I want it. I wonder how fast that bear can run. I wonder if he can run faster than me. We might have to do some scientific testing here. But before we do that, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Better Late Than Dead. I will see you all next time. Hopefully we can figure out a few more clues as to what happened around here. I'm going to refill my thirst meter and my hunger meter, and maybe we will get chased by a bear in the next episode so that we can get in there and get some new supplies. All right, I will see you all later. Hi, do, everybody.